I think that an artist finds himself always fighting against what he became famous for. I often have made the statement that I don't make statements. I have vowed that I would never paint the Indian. I'm very proud of being one quarter Lucenio, but you can't be anything if you're a quarter. The artist must always quest for truth. And I have even believed that truth is maybe a little overrated. Fritz Scholder was the most famous, prolific, and influential figure in the history of Indian art. I have never called myself an Indian artist. Everyone else has. I really don't know what Indian art is. He was also the most controversial. Scholder was born in 1937. His father, who served as an administrator for BIA boarding schools, was half native, and his mother was white. I grew up in a very non-Indian environment, mainly because my father was the product of the old Indian school system. And if you know anything about the old Indian school system, you know that it was a brainwashing uh, technique, in many cases, of trying to make Indians white. I was real shy, and all I wanted to do was stay in my room and draw so I wouldn't have to deal with people. But in retrospect, I always knew what I had to be. From the beginning of his journey, Shoulder's self-confidence set him apart. But this didn't mean that his direction was always clear. In 1961, I was receiving recognition. But it was a real struggle because you couldn't sell painting. In the early